Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you an easy way to create a crop and a stroke. Okay, so I have this image here of this guy talking on a microphone and it would only make sense to put some kind of an image or a video in the top left corner that perhaps I want to crop and also add a stroke to. So the way I'm going to do this is through the essential graphics panel. So I'm going to go up to my window menu and choose essential graphics. And then I'm going to go over to my edit tab and I want to go to this new layer button here and I want to choose rectangle. And then I'll drag this rectangle over into the corner and I'll just create this to the size that I want it to be. And then I'm gonna go about starting to stylize this rectangle as well. So I wanna add a stroke to this. So I'll go and tick stroke and I'll turn the width of the stroke up as well. I'd also like to add some curved edges to this. So I'll go over to the corner radius and turn this up as well. So now I have some nice curved corners. And the other thing that I'd like to add to something like this is a drop shadow. So I'm going to go and click shadow down here. I'm going to make this a nice dark shadow and I'll move it away from the image a little bit. And I'll also soften the shadow a bit more just to make it stand out from the background. And now the next thing I need to do is I need to add an image or a video to this rectangle. And this is actually really easy with the essential graphics panel. What I'm going to do is just grab some footage, but you can do this with an image as well and drag this underneath the shape in the essential graphics panel. And now I need to resize this so that it fits within the rectangle. So I'll adjust these handles here and sort of move it into position like that. So that looks about right. And now to actually mask out the area outside of the rectangle, I'm gonna go over to my shape and down the very bottom here, I'm gonna choose mask with shape. And you can see what it's done is it's actually masked it, but it's gotten rid of the stroke and it's kind of got a soft edge where the shadow is. And what I wanna tell Premiere to do is to only mask out the fill part of that shape. And I can do that with this tick box down here, mask only fill. And when I do that, now I keep my drop shadow, I keep my stroke, but I've cropped out the rest of the image there. And this is a bit of video here, so I can actually play this back and now I have a nice looking image over the shoulder there. And that is a really easy way to get this effect. Now, there are a couple of things I should mention about this. First of all, if you're doing this with images, that's really easy. This is a great way to work with images. If you're doing this with video, the only problem with working with this with video is that it makes it very difficult to edit that video. So for example, if I go down to my timeline here, and let's say I actually wanted to have the video start here where the dog's looking up, if I trim my clip like this, you'll see that it actually just restarts the video again. And similarly, if I was to make a cut in the middle of my video here, it actually just restarts the video at the cut. So it's not really easy to work with video in the timeline when you're working like this. If you do want to trim a video for something like this, the best way to do that is by using a sub clip. So what you want to do is load this in your source monitor and then set an in and an out for the section that you want to use. And then you want to go up and choose clip make sub clip. And this will actually add a new clip into your project panel. And then what you can do is add the sub clip into the graphic instead. Now the other limitation, and again, it relates to video and editing with video is you can't actually add a nested sequence into the essential graphics panel. So this is something that's ideally used for one video where you can control the in and out, or as I said, working with images, very easy. Hey, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe and maybe check out some of these other videos that I made.